everybody, my name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Whataburger, uh, you can tell by the title, that's what we're up to today. So Whataburger started in, I think, Corpus Christi around 1950. One of those, uh, one of those great stories with the guy with the burger cart. And uh, as the story goes, he made these burgers that were so enormous. I guess in 1950, this was enormous. I wouldn't have been so enormous in 1950 if we thought everybody this was a They thought, oh my God, what a burger! And I, ding, that's what we called it. So, what a burger, for those of you that aren't familiar, big in Texas, kind of surrounding area. So, if you're out here in Florida like we are, we have no choice but to figure this stuff out on our own, man, because they do not have them here. And, and, and it's not like these guys have like this super secret blend of this or sauce or this or well, you know what it is? It's all fresh ingredients. It's all made to order. That's what's great about it. There's a couple of little things that they do different, but first of all, we got to start with, okay, there's three main parts to a burger, right? There's buns, toppings, and the meat. If you get all three of those right, in any, you know, no matter what kind of burgers you're making, if you're using a bun that's really good quality, you got a nice chew to it, nice bites, gonna hold up to whatever kind of burger you're making. If you've got the, 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 the meat that kind of equals out to whatever you're doing today, we're 80 20, we wanna have that nice fat mixture. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little uh, secret to stop it from cupping. That's kind of fun. And then the toppings, if the toppings are fresh, you're out there. So, what we're gonna start with today is the What a Burger Double Double. If you walked in and said, Give me a double double, right? I don't know why you would do it in that accent or growly or anything, but this is what you're gonna get. And from here, once you learn this, then you can go ahead and slap your bacon on. You can go ahead and throw your onions on, whatever you like. But this is the basic, man. This is the double-double. So we're going to start with the buns. Now, at the restaurant, they use like, um, it's like a palm oil type of thing. And it's a, like a specific palm oil bun spray. Almost, almost like your cooking spray stuff. Okay. Now, uh, so some of you might have one of those little rollers, right, that, that spins around. I find those are fun. But for at home, you pretty much waste a stick of butter on you know, you, you know uh, just like a couple of burgers. So what we've done with ours is butter them, and you just, you know what, you want a nice, soft, about four, four and a half inch round hamburger bun. Just, just kind of pat it down, pat it down, it'll keep that toast even. So what a burger. And again, this is a this is almost like a, it's like a procedural thing. You know, follow along, do it as close as you can, but make sure these ingredients are right. So, uh, not not right, but fresh, fresh and right. Can you do both? All right. <laughs> so the lettuce is a rough chop. Have a look here, guys. A nice rough chop, just like that. It's not a it's not one big leaf. It's not strips. It's not shreds. It's a rough chop. If we're gonna make it like them, we're gonna make it like them, man. There we go. And then, from what I understand, three count them three, as I did earlier, tomato slices on each one. And a lot of times I would do this while the burgers are cooking, but uh, you know, we're working with like two and a half, three uh, ounce patties this time, like pushed out real thin. And then we want our pickles on each, just like that. There we go. <laughs> I can see we're in the 50s. This would be like a monster burger, right? Onions. All right, here we go. And a nice rough chop on the onions. And these ones are raw. There we go. Now, I think at the restaurants, uh, you, you, can, you can get them a sauteed if you want. You can this, you can that. But again, we're, we're just going to start with I want a double double. Here's what's showing up. So now let's get our meat ready. So here, uh, 80 20 is where we're going with this meat, you guys. Now these are. I, you know what, honestly, I think the restaurant uses two or two and a half ounce patty. Honest to God, man, I just, that is just too paper thin for me. So uh, I'm gonna go with three ounce patties. So that means when you put two of them together, that's six ounces. That's the new math. And always have that salt, pepper, garlic on hand all the time, because that is your go-to on top for burgers, steaks, chicken, chops, on and on and on. So give that a nice liberal one, but you're only gonna do this on one side because you don't want to salt the bejeebus out of a, a thin burger here. All right, now let's bring this on over. So, you know, you're kind of looking at uh, on, a, on a high uh, flat top or your, your pan, your pot, you're gonna probably look at like a minute and a half on one side, minute on the other. So here's the deal. A lot of times we'll put like, uh, you know, some grease uh, or oil down on the, uh, on the flat top. When you're working with 80-20, honest to goodness, you really don't need to do that. I mean, look at that. I mean, your, your ground beef is pretty much marbled. And when you go and flatten these out, you guys, don't squish the hamburger together because all you end up doing is, is, is just kind of taking the whole reason for that 80-20 mix out of the equation. You just squeeze the fat right into the meat, and you don't give it a chance to get that really nice 
caramelization. So this is one of the things that I want you to pay attention to uh, you know, like really closely, all right? It's kind of a neat trick. A lot of us will get these kind of things, right? These big burger presses, and these are fantastic, but sometimes with a big load like this, or if you're in a restaurant, you don't really have time or the want or the expense to have all these big things. So watch what you're gonna do here, watch. Just score the meat like this. See what I'm doing? Nice and light with your spatula. There we go, don't go all the way through. And what this will do is it's gonna stop it from cupping too badly. So it kind of, it's kind of a cheat, it's kind of a workaround to have in one of those uh, nice big burger presses. This will do, uh, do a little bit to keep that burger flat and keep it on the grill. There you go, there's your tip of the day. You're welcome. Uh, so cheese, let's talk cheese if you please. Don't mess around. This is American cheese time, all right? This is not like Gouda, Munster, uh, you know, nice creamy whatever. This is just good old fashioned American cheese. This is what, uh, that, that, that tangy, creamy taste is what you're looking for. See, see what happened here? See what happened when we scored these? Instead of them like trying to just, just cupping up and down, they stay relatively flat, so that's cool. All right, let's flip these. So here's what we do, guys. We take these, we're gonna pop it on top, just like that. Oh boy. Guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and grab that notifications button so you always know when we pop on with a super fun new video for you guys. All right, so guys, watch what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take our little cutting board here. Let's divide these out a bit so I got some room to work with. And just like that, here we go. We've got four Whataburger double doubles. Oh, that's the stuff right there. So now, let's start have a look here. Come on in, have a look uh, nice and close. Mm, I think we did all right. There you go. The perfect bun, great beef, really nice spice. You got those great fresh toppings, that great little, uh, you know, that, that, that butter crisp on those buns, man. That is the way to make yourself a Whataburger. Try that, and then from there, you know, fi find all your great toppings, your sauteed onions, your sauteed mushrooms, whatever kind of different cheeses. All right, here we go. Can I hammer into this, Trish? Is it time? All right, you ready? Here we go. That's a pretty, yeah, man. That's the real deal. That's a big burger. No, no joke. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lean forward. The old rumpa shake. Ready? Wow. Oh, the fire. What do you think? Yeah. Not good. Mm. Give us a like, give us a follow if you enjoyed that, you guys. My name's Mark Gill, this is Mark's on the Grill. Man, we'll be back a little later this week with another fun recipe. That's fantastic. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a good burger. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. Hit that like and follow.